We're just going to do a quick little review of the Salicaceae or the Willow family. So, um, members of the Salicaceae, they are shrubs or trees. They're dioecious, meaning, of course, that there are separate female plants and separate male plants. Um, the inflorescence is a catkin. And if you'll remember, this is a dense spike-like inflorescence of reduced unisexual flowers. Our fruit is a capsule, and the seeds are comos. And comos, that just means there's essentially a tuft of hair on the seed that, um, in this case, aids in wind dispersal. And then we have our floral formula for our staminate, or male flowers, and the floral formula for our pistillate or female flowers. And you can see in both there uh, is no perianth present. It is absent in both the male and female flowers. And of course for the male flower we have two to infinity, so two to greater than ten stamens. No gynecium of course because it's just a male flower. And then of course for the female flower no calyx corolla or stamens and we just have a gynecium, a syncarpus gynecium, with two to four carpels, and of course the ovary in that gynecium is superior. Here we have some of our more well-known members of the group. On the left here is Populus tremuloides, and that of course is the quaking aspen, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. And on the right is Populus deltoides, which of course is the cottonwood. And um, I'm sure you guys have seen this, this is quite ubiquitous around here. So while you might be familiar with some members of the genus Populus, most of the biodiversity in Salicaceae resides in the genus Salix. And this genus is what's commonly known as the willows, and that is what you see here. These are two more species of Salix, just for you guys to get another little flavor of what these plants look like. Uh, both of these were collected at pretty high elevation, 7,500 feet on the left, and on the right, this was collected uh, along Trail Ridge Road, actually, at uh, almost 12,000 feet elevation. All members of the Salicaceae have catkins. But as I said, the Salicaceae are also dioecious, meaning separate male and female plants. Therefore, we'll also have separate male and female catkins. So what are we looking at here? Well, here we have a female catkin, and I can tell because I can see each individual ovary, style, and stigma associated with each pistillate flower on this catkin, this female catkin here. Here's another little flavor of catkin, if you will. This thing has some really cool colors, but again, I know that it is a female catkin because I can see these little style and stigmas on each flower here. So, another female catkin. These catkins are a bit more mature than in the previous examples, and I cannot actually pick out styles and stigmas associated with each flower, but I can still tell that these are uh, female catkins. And what clues me in this time is the presence of these tufts of hair. And what these tufts of hair are, um, are the Como seeds. So each of these brown structures here are actually capsules, which are the m mature fruit of each individual female flower in the catkin, and the tufts of hair are associated with the Como seeds. So each of these capsules are mature and are dehissing the Como seeds. So I know that, oh wow, this must be a female catkin and not a male catkin. So as a contrast to the previous few examples, here we have some male catkins. So these are aggregates of male flowers now, and I can tell immediately because I can see little anthers and filaments. So these are all the male flowers on the catkins here. And again, more male catkins. You can tell because you can see the stamens. You can see the little anther and filaments pertaining to each individual male flower of the catkin.